Our first reading today will be shared by Alan Johnson. Reading from 1 Peter chapter 1. If you invoke as Father the one who judges all people impartially according to their needs, live in reverent fear during the time of your exile. You know that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without defect or blemish. He was destined before the foundation of the world but was revealed at the end of the ages for your sake. Through him, you have come to trust in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are set on God. Now that you have purified your souls by your obedience to the truth, so that you have guaranteed genuine mutual love, love one another deeply from the heart. You have now been born anew, not of perishable, but of imperishable seed, through the living and enduring word of God, the word of God. Thanks be to God. Our psalm is Psalm number 116, and uh, we have slides here so you can read the uh, bolded print in response. I love the Lord who has heard my voice and listened in my supplication. For the Lord has given ear to me whenever I called. The cords of death entangle me. The anguish of the grave came upon me. I came to grief and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O oh Lord, I pray you save my life. How shall I repay the Lord for all the good things God has done for me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all God's people. Precious in your sight, O Lord, is the death of your servants. O Lord, truly, I am your servant. I am your servant, the child of your handmaid. You have freed me from my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all God's people. In the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem. Alleluia. Amen. Rock will sing 